April 12th, 2016. Here is your latest end time news from Tradcat Night. Texas Secession. The Big Sky Country, Texas, will be voting at the next state GOP convention on whether or not they will secede from the Union. This is being reported upon by RT.com today. Now, the Lone Star State could be on its way to becoming the Lone Star Nation. A vote on Texas independence is set to take place at the Texas Texas Republican Party's convention after being approved by the platform committee of the state party. The Texas Nationalist Movement, a group that advocates for the state's separation from the U.S., has made major headway with a secession debate scheduled for the Texas Republican Convention this week. The movement claims that 22 out of the 270 county GOP conventions have passed independence resolutions. Although Texas GOP Chairman Tom Meckler told the Houston Chronicle that he would be very surprised if that number held up. Now, the Houston Chronicle reached out to GOP officials of that county uh, that the national, the Texas national movement had said passed independence resolution and only 10 were confirmed. Meckler has made an effort to distance the nationalist movement from the Texas GOP, saying Republican is not even in their name. Supporters of the TNM feel a celebration is in order after two-thirds of the Texas Republican Platform Committee voted to vote on Texan independence. We have said this for years. The people of Texas want an open debate and a vote on the issue of independence. None more so than Texas Republicans, TNM President Daniel Miller said. The reasons for Texan independence are similar to those usually cited in standard Republican rhetoric. According to their website, they promote a secure border and sane immigration policy, as well as an end to the failed federal policy of unrestricted spending and limitless debt. Furthermore, the website claims that the need for a separate nation of Texas has a lot to do with the government overreach, saying, no matter what our priorities, challenges, dreams, and decisions are here in Texas, while we are in part of the Union, everything is ultimately dictated from or allowed by the bureaucrats in D.C. Independence means that Texans and Texans alone decide our fate. Texans are tired of being governed by bureaucrats. We didn't elect pushing policies that we don't want. Now, Texas originally won its independence from Mexico in 1836 and attempted to operate as a sovereign nation, but joined the Union after running out of money. Since then, Texas attempted to secede during the Civil War, and the secession movement gained some traction in the 90s, but it has mostly remained a moot point. So this is at least going to be on the ballot, Uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is interesting news tonight. Again, I've proposed this to Nicholas Landholt, who was on running for Congress in West Texas there, a traditional Catholic, and he he said it's a a possibility, uh, a real possibility. So who knows how uh, things do turn out. Again, we have to continue to pray for the restoration of all nations to come to the social kingship of Christ. Uh, No land truly is going to be blessed that continues to promote religious liberty, putting false religions and sects on the same level of Christ and the Catholic Church. And uh, again, please do subscribe to Tradcat Night for all of the latest end time news. We're trying to stay on top of all the news that's coming out on a daily basis. Uh, Hit that subscribe button so you are being updated and being uh, these videos being sent to your email personally. Visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com for the latest news. Uh, I typically have daily radio shows with special guests covering a lot of these topics, whether it is the Second Amendment, gun grab, FEMA camps, GMOs, Monsanto, geopolitics. We try to cover it all here from a traditional Catholic perspective here at Tradcat Night. And so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, God bless and stay safe.